Hello folks. Well, we're all looking forward to getting back together again to worship. The executive has said that that could happen from the 5th of July. But when Kirk Session looked at all the protocols that we wanted to put in place to make sure that this building was a safe place for us to worship together again, we decided that the beginning of September would be the best time to begin. We have made arrangements with St John's and Dun Murray to share the services over the summer months and I will be off on leave in August. So September seems to be a good time. Kirk Session will be working hard along with the committee to put into place all the protocols that are necessary in order that you coming to this building to worship will feel safe in doing so. That's our main priority. So the church will be cleaned before and after those services. You will come in through the main door of the church, but you will leave by the transept. And the first arriving in the church will be shown to a seat near the front, and they will also then be the first ones to leave. Some of the aspects of church will be different. There'll be no tea and coffee and no chats afterwards. We will be allowed to sing, but to sing softly. You'll enjoy this bit. Sermons are supposed to be a bit shorter, and the whole service is to be, supposed to be somewhat shorter than, than normal. All of these measures are there in order that we can begin to worship together in our building. With the social distancing measures in place, at present they are at two metres, it means that there will be 40 households who can meet to worship on the ground floor of Cook. And that's not a lot really. And our hope and prayer is uh, that these restrictions will be eased in the coming months. But this is what we are working to at present. There are some of you who are looking forward so much to getting back to worshipping with us. And there are those who are still very anxious. And we understand that. And so our morning services will still be streamed live uh, right through September and as we were doing anyway before uh, the restrictions came into place. It's important that everyone feels very much part of this congregation, whether they can come back to worship or not. And so it is a joy to think that we can meet together in this building to worship again. And it is what we are aiming to do. But the priority, and I emphasize this, is that you feel safe coming into this building and we will endeavour to do everything possible to make it as safe and as pleasant as it can be. One other thing is that we will need to keep a register of, of those who attend. So with these measures in place, I thought I would do a little run through of the beginning of the service and where you would be sitting and where I would be preaching from and so on in order to give you an idea of what it would like be like uh, being back in our building. So come with me now as we do that. Well this is where I normally stand to conduct worship and the first person in the congregation has to be four metres away from me and that will be in pew 45 on the park road side. So I'll go and sit in that pew. And I'll have to go right up to the centre here. So number one person in the church will sit here. If you're number two coming in, you'll have to sit at the far end of this pew, near the door. About here. And then the third person in would have to sit three pews back in number 42. So I'll go and sit there. 
So we're nearly halfway down the centre of our church and on this side, on the park road side, three people will be able to sit. Of course, we'll be able to seat people on the side aisles, but still, not too many people. And that's part of the problem uh, that we face. So I hope you understand the difficulties that we're facing as Kirk Session in making this decision. And of course, everyone's view on this is different. Just after it was announced that churches could reopen, I got two phone calls. One from a lady who said, is church opening again on the 5th of July? I was extremely disappointed to be told no because we hadn't got all the protocols in place for that to happen. Within a couple of hours, I got another phone call from someone who said, if you're opening on the 5th of July, I'm sorry, I won't be there. I don't feel safe going out. I don't feel safe coming into church at the moment. And I'm not sure when I'll be back. I want to be back, but I don't think I'll be able to at the moment. So two completely opposite opinions, but both equally valid. Folks, we have to abide by the rules that are set down and agreed by our church in general. And we have to put all these protocols in place for worship here and for when organisations meet in our halls as well. So please pray for Kirk Session as we meet again at the end of July. Hopefully the regulations will have eased a little and we'll be able with confidence to talk about coming back at the beginning of September. But please remember us as we remember you. And please God, may it not be too long before we can meet together each Sunday here in Cook to worship our God together. Thank you for listening. Have a safe day.